Let me get started here. Uh, the reason we're here is we kind of came up with a unique idea. Uh, I wanted to create kind of a system that would allow me to track tooling being checked out and in from technicians without any human interference. Uh, so what we did is we used HF and UHF RFID in association with AccuTracker, our assets tracking track program, and Sabre Communications, our integrators. Uh, I called Texas Instruments, you know, been a Texas boy. They referred me to Sabre Communications, who immediately jumped on it, sat down, started figuring it out. Uh, by December, we had pretty much all the implementation done of it, all the hardware mounted, everything like that. And then Sabre and AccuTracker started working hand in hand and creating the middleware so that we can use our current tracking program with the new RFID technology. Uh, in March, we began beta testing in Irving. And you know, it's kind of funny, I was, I was talking to my tool room guys out of Irving yesterday and asked them to give me a count from last Monday. We had over 2,600 tags move through the portal. We missed four. Two were because I programmed them wrong. <laughs> Two were because the technician inadvertently covered two tags. We have at least two tags on every tool, and the way he carried it, he actually blocked the tag. We've already rectified that. We've got a third additional tag on there now. So we're catching them pretty good. And it amazes me. I was shooting for a 90 or 95 percent accuracy. We were only getting 80 with Barco. Right now, we're more than 99.9 percent .9 accurate. Defining the process, what we did was we wanted to create something where the technician didn't have to do anything to enter the tool room or exit the tool room. So we went with an HF badge system. Technician literally just puts it in his wallet. We've got eight, one HF reader outside. We've got dual readers inside. Technician walks by. It's at wallet height. The tool room recognizes it, unlocks the door, fires off the internal UHF readers, and reads the tooling that he's returning. If he comes in empty-handed, the system says he came in empty-handed. We put multiple tags on every single tool. Uh, we've got clamshell kits that are valued at like $3,500 or more. We, we can have up to six tags on each one of those. Normally it's the alien world tag or squiggle tag that we're using on those, or we've got two or three steel tags on the metal boxes. The reason being, we didn't want what happened this week to happen where the technician accidentally covered up a tag and blocked the read of it. Each UH tag was programmed with the pre-existing barcode that we already had in the system from our barcode system. Therefore, we didn't have to go back and re-inventory or re-enter all 17,000 tools that are in the Irving tool room. All we had to do was program tags and stick them on the existing tool room. That is the whole Derby portal. Uh, looks a little bit different today. We've centered the dual array over it. It's got a cover over it. Um, basically, a Lexan. Shatterproof plastic. It gets hit with metal parts, it gets hit with chains, it gets hit with come alongs, you name it. And it holds up pretty darn good. We've used multiple types of tags in this tool room. Uh, from the sun tags, to the alien world tags, to kinetics, you name it. We, we figured out creative ways to get things tagged that probably would never have been tagged. These ones on the upper right up here are actually a 30 inch all thread rod. One inch and one and a quarter inch in diameter. And so basically we just took PVC, slid it over, put a nut on each end, tagged the PVC. That way we could actually track that in and out. It also gave us the benefit of field guys <laughs> would grab these rods, throw them in, and then throw all the heavy metal stuff on top of them. Tearing up the threads, destroying the rod. One of those rods can be up to $200 each. So there was a lot of waste. We haven't had to buy any since we started doing that. Guys love it. Return on investment. So far, we're 99.9% .9 effective, and, and it, it amazes me. It literally amazes me that we're that accurate with this system. I was shooting for 90 or 95. Um, to hear the reports that I'm getting from my tool room while I was up here, it, it just astounds me that we've had that many tags go through with that few misses. This prevented us losing this $10,000 a month that we were talking about, the lost tooling, lost revenue, lost time for mechanics. The ROI has actually gone up from four months to seven months simply because I bought a lot of additional tags and all that. Within seven months, we'll have a complete return on the system. Uh, to the point to where, oh, in the next 30, 45 days, we will be implementing in San Antonio, our second store. And uh, within 30 days after that, we'll have it in four other tours with the goal of having it in all 16 by the end of this year. 